I have pigmented lips and do these pH lip oils actually work on pigmented lips? Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Sushmita Brown Girl Sushmita. I make videos on makeup, skincare and all the brown beauty related stuff. So this video is going to be about pH lip oils or color changing lip oils. So let's dive into the world of color changing lip oils. So this is how my lips look, they are pigmented and dark. I got these pigmented lips through genetics. So I wanted to share a small secret with you. In my intermediate, what I did was I have applied lemon on my lips to lighten them. In the past, I was so insecure and I've applied them as a night sleeping mask. I mean, just for 15 minutes, I guess. After applying lemon, my lips were on fire. At that time, I didn't know which lip balm to use. I used to use those baby lips and Nivea, but those lip balms, I felt like they give tint to the lips, but they don't moisturize lips for like four to five hours. Only for two hours, I guess they moisturize. And after that, I feel like I needed more moisturization for my lips because my lips are super dry and super pigmented. And I was insecure in the past. Please, if you're watching this, do not trust the DIYs you see on YouTube. I know there are so many DIY videos on YouTube. You can easily get access to those products and apply it on your face. But if something happens, it's very difficult to undo that. So please be careful. Do not follow those processes like I did. I have also uh, used so many DIY products to lighten my underarms, to lighten my lips because I was so insecure. But going through all those memories are like very funny and embarrassing. So you guys, please don't do that. So let's dive into the world of pH lip oils and who needs them. So nowadays Indian market is flooded with makeup products and also they are releasing so many lip oils. I have got them. These are all the pH lip oils, color changing lip oils. So let's swatch all of them and I'll show you which lip oil is the best for pigmented lips. First I'm starting with the brand Tipsy Beauty. First I have this clear lip oil. I mean these lip oils are very moisturizing that I can say. Uh, and also this lip oil is very lightweight. Let's wait. So on pigmented lips, it gives very slightest bit of tint. So this clear lip oil is not that pigmented lip friendly. But I feel like if you rub it and layer it again, then this will give so much of tint to your lip. Next we have another shade shifter lip oil in the shade Midnight. The transparent one and this one has the same consistency and same moisturization on the lip. Okay, now can you see? This gave pigment to the lips and also stained my lips. And it's difficult to get rid of that stain on the teeth. So be careful while applying this one. And this is pigmented lip friendly. And my second warning regarding this shade from Tipsy Beauty is you should not apply it in two layers because this can give uneven pigment on the lips and it will look so weird because this gives a darker pink shade on the lips like it looks so brighter on the lips so only one layer is enough please do not wipe it off and apply second layer it looks so weird next we have this glitter lip oil it's in the shade starlight 01 i mean this looks so beautiful it has so much of gold shimmer particles in it wow this one is more moisturizing than the clear lip oils so what i observed is this clear one and this shimmer one give the same amount of pink tint to the lip because i think they have added the gold shimmer in this one and named it as starlight Next one is this Tipsy Beauty Sunset Glow. This lip oil has golden and coral shimmer particles in them. And after a minute or so, this is how the lip oil looks on my lips. It is giving some kind of peachy, corally shade to my lips as well as it's slightly pinkish. Actually, the shimmer particles in this lip oil are making these lip look more corally than the pink. But actually, the base I feel is a transparent base. And I have swiped the Sunset Glow with micellar water and you can see that there is uh, some kind of coral shade and also pink shade. So it's kind of mixed shade. 
and the next one is one of my favorite from this range it's the shade shifter lip oil in the shade magenta moon it has pink shimmer particles in them so this lip oil has a light pink shimmer particles in them and also this lip oil tints your lips pink let me show you and this is magenta moon I love that these lip oils are very reflecting and very shimmery, glittery but also doesn't feel like you have applied some chunky glittery lip gloss. Uh, this feels so comfortable also very nourishing. Packaging wise I love them. Coming to the formula these glitter ones have more nourishing formula than these one but if you want like lightweight lip oils then choose this over these and my favorite are these glitter lip oils. And if you have to choose a pigmented lip oil among these, then you should go for this midnight shade. We have next lip oils from the brand Lamior. This is Lamior lip oil in the shade Kiwi Pop. It's green in color. These lip oils feel more nourishing than the tipsy ones. And this is how Kiwi Pop looks on my pigmented lips. Next one is in the shade Blackberry. Okay, this is one more black lip oil. These Lamior lip oils are very pigmented and definitely pigmented lip friendly. So all of the pH lip oils which I'm swatching leave a tint on your lips after you wipe it off with a tissue or have a meal. So who needs pH lip oils? Those who are searching for a lip oil which also give you a tint that stays on for longer hours. So this is how the black Lamior lip oil actually tinted my lips. So it left a more pinkish tint compared to the Kiwi Pop shade. Next lip oils are from the brand Tint Cosmetics. I'm so excited to show you these lip oils because these are my favorite. So the first shade is Sky. I've used this lip oil for so many times so you can see the quantity and the applicator looks pink. So this one tints your lips similar to the Tipsy Beauty Clear ones but let me tell you why I love this because of the formula. These lip oils are so moisturizing, so nourishing. They don't feel like lip oils but they feel like lip jellies. I mean I use them before my bed and I wake up with a super soft lip. I love them and this is how the shade Sky looks like. And this is in the shade Ocean. This one is my least favorite because it doesn't give you that much of pigment to the lip. And the last one is in the shade Galaxy. This one has shimmer particles in them. But the shimmers in this look like the shimmers used in craft work. But when you put it on lips, it won't feel chunky at all. This galaxy shade is the most pigmented shade compared to the sky and ocean. But the only con is I don't like the glitter they have put in it. They look big. So I don't know. It's my preference. But I don't like the look of this uh, lip oil. I mean the glitters in them look so big and they feel like they use it for craft work or something. I think these are edible glitters but again... I feel like they need to put like small glitter particles like shimmer glitter particles to make it look more aesthetically pleasing looking and to apply also. Next pH lip oils are from the brand Flossy Cosmetics. These are not your ordinary lip oils. These are Lip Gloss X Lip Oil Hybrid and these also have duochrome glitters. Let's see how they look on my pigmented lips. The first lip gloss is in the shade Pink Lemonade. When I rub my lips against each other, I can feel that glitter particles but these are not at all chunky again. And this pink lemonade gives the slightest pink tint to your lip. It's not pigmented lip friendly again. And here the winner comes. This is the most pigmented lip oil or X lip gloss infused, I mean hybrid. And look at that pigment and shine and color. I'm obsessed with this lip oil X lip glass hybrid. This looks stunning. This brand is so underrated. 
so that's it for the video i hope you got an idea on which lip oil to choose because it's better to choose a ph lip oil uh, than your regular lip oils as these are very moisturizing also and also give you a pigment to the lips that stays on your lips for longer hours and thank you for watching i hope you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet and bye